Woman spots mother sleeping at airport with kids. What happened next will shock you. For many, vacation travel can be the most exciting time of the year. But for those traveling with children and also dealing with financial instability, it can be a stress-filled experience. However, during the gift-giving season, nothing spreads holiday cheer better than the kindness of strangers, a kindness that we are not accustomed to and that many are wary of, but when it appears, it is able to brighten the lives of those who feel they've lost everything. Since Simone was a 41-year-old single woman who'd spent half her life on an airplane, traveling from one city to another on business. Simone considered herself a philanthropist, a lover of travel, Japanese food, and video games when she had free time. Sin was a public relations manager for a large media company in Los Angeles, which required her to be on the road almost every week, meeting with new partners and growing her company's brand around the world. And perhaps it was her work or her countless failed love affairs that kept Simone single and unattached after 40. In any case, it was an issue that she hardly paid attention to in her day-to-day -day life and that didn't bother her at all as she considered herself a fulfilled and happy person with the life she led. However, the fact that she was a single adult woman without children did not make her cold and unfeeling, quite the contrary. Sin was a very pleasant, cheerful person with a great sense of humor. But above all, and this is something that everyone who knows her well agrees, Simone is a generous person with a huge heart who always cares about the welfare of others. And it is precisely her big heart and her ability to help others that we're telling you this story about. A moving story that will make even the most skeptical have faith in life again, and in which Simone proved once again that empathy and generosity will always be the best give we can give to others in the most difficult moments. It all happened when Sin made it to LAX after missing her first scheduled flight and having to wait more than five hours in the terminal to get a ticket home. Another person would have been very nervous and would have arrived at the airport in a bad mood, but Sin was very used to setbacks and had a truly amazing ability to remain calm. Upon arrival at LAX, she had to wait again for her bags to go through baggage claim, a protocol common at all airports and quite tedious, but one that Simone was used to, so she took it easy and strolled around the terminal while her bags arrived. When she'd been waiting for 20 minutes, Sin felt the need to go to the bathroom and went to the nearest women's restrooms, and that's when she heard something that would break her heart. As Sin entered the bathroom, she could hear a woman crying inconsolably in one of the adjoining bathrooms. The woman was crying non-stop and mumbling words that were difficult to understand. Sin could tell the crying woman was an American as she spoke in Spanish and had a Latin accent, possibly Mexican. Simone wondered if she should say something like everything's gonna be fine, but the woman was nervous and speaking Spanish she wasn't sure she'd be understood. At first she decided to leave the woman alone, but after spending 10 minutes feeling terrible about leaving her alone, Sin ended up going back to the bathroom four more times while waiting for her bags, struggling with herself over whether she should talk to this poor woman. It's none of my business, she's probably crying over something personal that's none of my business, besides she probably won't even understand me and I'll only end up scaring her, she said to herself, trying to convince herself that walking away and moving on with her life would be the right thing to do. However, just as Sin was about to walk back out of the bathroom door, she heard her say, but the bus doesn't come until tomorrow, we have nowhere to sleep and we have no food left either and it's so cold. The woman was very upset and seemed worried that she'd have nowhere to spend the night until the next day. Hearing her say that, Sin felt her heart shrink. Instantly, she knew she couldn't just sit on the sidelines and wanted to help the woman. She walked over to the door of the bathroom where the woman was locked and after knocking on the door asked if she could help. My name is Sin Simone, I just arrived from San Diego and I'm waiting for my bags. Forgive my boldest, but I heard you crying and couldn't help but hear your conversation. If you need help, I could help, Simone said softly on the other side of the door. There was an awkward silence broken by the sound of the door latch. On the other side, Sin was met with something truly desolate. In the bathroom stall was someone else. When the door opened and Sin peeked in, she could see a mother sitting on the toilet and leaning over her son, a boy who wouldn't have been more than three years old and was lying on a small blanket she'd spread out on the floor. But that wasn't all. The woman was also carrying a sleeping baby barely a few months old attached to her chest in a small backpack. Simone had to hold back the urge to cry. Throughout her life, she'd faced all kinds of challenges, but she'd never been in a similar situation. She felt very sad to see the woman there alone, so she tried to offer her help and get her and her children out of there as soon as possible. The woman was looking at her with wide eyes, and Sin wasn't sure she understood her. She was frightened and held her baby tightly to her chest. The child on the floor was looking at her suspiciously and clinging to his mother's leg. Don't be afraid, I just want to help. I have plenty of money to take care of the three of you. Please let me help you. Sin repeated to the woman, trying to speak so that she would understand her better and smiling at her so she wouldn't be more scared. The woman seemed to begin to understand what she was trying to tell her and stopped crying. Next, Sin asked her if she had Zelle or Cash App so she could send her money, but the woman didn't. I have hardly any money, no modern cell phones. I just want a place for my children to sleep and not be cold. They're hungry and it'll soon get dark outside. The woman explained in clumsy English, but Simone was able to understand her without problem. 
Sin moved a little closer to her and the children, trying to make her understand that she just wanted to help them get out of there and continue to tell her, I live near the center of town and I know a beautiful hotel where you can stay overnight until tomorrow. You don't have to do anything and you don't owe me anything either. You just have to come with me, I'll take care of everything for you." Simone told her gently, trying to gesture as much as possible to make her message clear to understand. "'You want to help us? Do you want to pay for a hotel, but you don't know us?' answered the mother with a trembling voice and an incredulous gesture. It was very difficult for her to understand why a complete stranger would offer to help her and pay for a hotel room. Sin understood the woman's distrust and smiled at her. She was sure that the poor mother had not had much luck in her life and that she must not have met very nice people in all the time. Simone was determined to help her forget that if only for a day, so she tried to explain the reasons for her generosity and convince her to accompany her to a nearby hotel. I help you because it is what all of us who can do should do. I'll help you because it breaks my heart to see a mother hiding in an airport restroom fearing for what might happen tomorrow. I'll assist you because I can and because I won't be able to keep looking in the mirror if I don't and go on with my life as if nothing of this happened. That's why I want to help you." Simone told her with great determination and gentleness in her voice. The woman looked at her as if she had seen an angel pass by. My name's Sin, I live 20 minutes from here and I can make you and your children safe with a bed and food until tomorrow. Even if you needed more assistance, I could help you too, you just have to ask, okay? The woman just nodded and smiled. She then did as Sin instructed and she and her children spent the night at the Marriott, just as Simone had promised. The woman, whose name was Luisa Dominguez, was of Mexican origin, and although she didn't want to give her any details about what had led her to be locked in the airport bathroom, Sin knew perfectly well what it was all about. She didn't need any explanations. It was enough for her to know that they would be fine there and that her assistance would help them overcome whatever their problems were at that moment. After paying for the room for a day and making sure they were settled in well, Sin never heard from the woman and her two children again. She didn't really need to. She knew the next day she'd have disappeared and headed for a safer place where someone would probably already be waiting for them. Simone didn't need the woman to thank her for her help. She knew she'd done the right thing and that filled her heart with peace. A few days later, in a post shared on the Daily Dose of Kindness Facebook page, Simone wanted to share her experience and recall her encounter at the airport. I was so happy to help her knowing I would only be spending my little money on nonsense, Simone added. She rode with me all the way to the Marriott and I got her a room, Simone concludes the post, sharing the happy ending to the ordeal. But she also adds a note explaining why she wanted to publicize her good deed, noting that she couldn't help but think about how many people found themselves in the same situation and ultimately left the mother and children to their fate. I'm glad I said something because she was super sweet and grateful and had babies with her," concluded Sin in her post, very happy about what had happened. Many admired Simona's kindness and the networks were quick to echo the woman's generosity. The post she published was filled with comments congratulating her and thanking her for showing that good people still exist. God bless you for being a good person. Thank you for sharing. I hope people remember your story and do the right thing when they encounter this kind of situation," wrote one. I loved it. Very kind, added another. Thank you to all the people who give back and bless others. You never know what a small gesture means to someone until you make the kind gesture. Simone's generous gesture is an inspiring example. While not everyone will encounter a family in need at the airport, there are numerous ways to help those less fortunate locally, ranging from volunteering at shelters to providing gifts for the homeless. Her story is also a good one to remind ourselves that while gifts are nice and it's all well and good to receive them, it's the acts of kindness and selflessness that really make all the difference in the world. Did you like this touching and surprising story? If so, we invite you to leave us a comment expressing your opinion. If you want to continue enjoying inspiring stories like this one, subscribe to our channel or check out the other videos shown at the bottom of the screen. Thank you for your cooperation.